Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. I shared in my stories this game board activity, which I had both my face-to-face -face and remotely students playing for Social Friday. I promised to do a tutorial if my idea worked, and since it did, well, here it is. First, you will need to go to the website Whiteboard Chat. Click on Start Drawing and click on Start Teaching. This is to create the game board before we assign it to the students. You will see a whiteboard like this. Let's begin by giving a title to our board. I search on Google for a simple game board, in which in this case, this is the one that I liked. So all I'm going to do is just go to the image, right click, copy, and then I'm going back to the whiteboard. I will now click Ctrl V to paste. There it is. Now you see how big it is? I'm going to shrink this by clicking this button here. Select the image. Now you can resize it and even move it. I like to resize it to about this size right here. So that way it's big enough for my students to see it on their iPad. I like to line it up to where the eraser is. I'm now going to move it to the right, right below where the title is. I will select and right click on the image and make sure that I select lock. It's something that we don't really have to, but I like to do that just in case. Now we're going to need some game pieces. Let's do that by clicking on the palette, which is up here. And this is going to pop up. My last selection was animals, but if you click right here, it gives you all these different options, but I'm going to stick with animals. As you can see, there are tons of animals that you can pick from. Once you're ready, all you have to do is click on the animal that you will like, and then move the cursor to the screen and just click. I like to add multiple animals so that way the students have more options. I'm going to resize the animals now by clicking this here and just select one by one and just resize them and move them in a line so that the students can move the animal pieces Make sure that you click on each single one of them, right click and select students can move. This step is very important because if you do not give the access to the students to move the piece, then they will not be able to move it at all. Hopefully you haven't closed the other two windows. In case you did, make sure that you click on the palette. Now we're going to add the wheel. Instead of looking for animals, we're going to look for widgets. And then here you're gonna have these three options. I'm going to select the wheel. Since I had already created mine, this is how mine is already done. But if you click on the three lines, then here you can just make the changes that you would like. It gives you an example of how you can make this work and you can even assign a color to each number. I changed my wheel from one to five to one to four so that way you guys could see the difference. Make sure that you turn on these two options so that both students can see the wheel and it will sync. And then just click update. You can also select the wheel and resize it. I'm now going to close these windows because now they're just in the way. As you guys can see, there are many options here on the left, which our students don't really need them all. In my case, I teach kindergarten, so that's why I'm going to turn all of these options off and just leave the select tool for the students. You can do that by going here to the gear tool and click on customize menu options for students. And then here you can just turn on or turn off whatever things that you want the students to see or that you do not want them to see. Make sure that you click on save. Now let's assign this into partners or groups to our students. You will have to go up here next to the gear tool. In my case, it looks like an M, but that's because my name on this board is Miss Calderon. Yours might look different. And then we're going to click where it says create group board. Once you click this, then on the top, you're going to type either the names or the group numbers or the group colors that you would like for the students to have. For the purpose of this video, I name mine group one, group two, group three, and click on pre-create group. This will automatically make a copy of what we just created and assign it to each group. What I did with my students, I actually put their names and their partners, so that way it will be easier for the kids to recognize their name. All you have to do now is just click out, or you can actually go to one of the groups just to see how their board will look. So this is group A. You can also click here, go to instructor. This is the one that we created. You can also click here on grid view. Here you will see the group boards that you have assigned. Once the students have entered, to get your students to get to the board, you have to click here where it says invite and copy the link that is down here. You can now share this link with your students. I'm going to open an incognito tab so that way I can show you guys how the students view will be. So here the students will have to type in their name and select the group that you assigned them. Once they do this, they will automatically get the game board and start playing with their friends. We start on Zoom and then we make sure that all of our microphones are on so that way we can communicate with our friends whenever we go to web or chat. Before we do that, we break out into breakout rooms, I partner up my kids, and then I send them the link to the web or chat. There is an option in web or chat in which the students can do a video call 
but the quality is not that great. We tried it once and it was not pretty. That's the reason that we keep our microphone on on Zoom and even though we cannot see each other because my students, they use an iPad mini and unfortunately we don't have the option to have two screens, then at least we can hear each other. I then jump back and forth from breakout room to breakout room to hear the students and I'm monitoring the whiteboard chat, of course, to see how they're doing on their game. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.